Uh, getting away from the game for a minute, more sad news last week when uh, some revelations, more revelations regarding Johnny Manziel and his father coming out and basically pleading for his son to be arrested and, and that somebody would finally take care of him. And you've certainly seen situations like this before. Right. This was, this was kind of my idea to talk about this. It's not that I want to go back through the whole Manziel thing, but as somebody spent now 17 years in jail ministry, the words of his father, my son's a drug addict. We can't find him. I wish he would go to jail. I'm afraid he's going to kill himself or somebody else. I have heard this many, many times. And frankly, a good prayer is exactly what it's asked. Get arrested and let him get in there. Because right now, nothing seems to be getting his attention. And maybe, I bet most of us with the heroin epidemic and everything else out there have parents or close friends of somebody who's hooked on this stuff. And you just know how it tears families apart. And this is like regardless of whether man's out to play or can't right. play. I just read that and I just, my heart ached for his family because I've heard this in person many times. And uh, I just pray that Johnny would, uh, you know, turn himself in. Because the difference between Johnny Manziel and the average drug addict is all this help is open to Johnny if he wants it. Where the average guy off the street, right. he's going to jail and he's w on the waiting list to get into the drug program. And so uh, there's a lot of hope for Johnny if he wants it. But as his dad said, you can't find him, he won't come in. Uh, it's on him.